Falkirk on Saturday, March day 14, coming around very quickly. How's the mood in the camp been this week following the, the win over Kelly Hearts? Yeah, it's been good. Um, boys have trained well. Um, also a good win last weekend. Also to bounce back from also the Montrose game. Um, it was important we got just back to winning ways. Um, three points on the board and it sets up nicely for this uh, game on Saturday. It's a, a match that um, we've already played in already this season, a 1-1 one, one draw, so we know what to expect from Falkirk and we know exactly what to expect going away to a difficult away ground. Yeah, in terms of game Saturday, also uh, we've played them before here. Um, probably first half they were, they were on top, second half I think we were got back into the game and we were on top. Um, both teams um, were going for it, it was an exciting game of football and I'm sure Saturday will be no different. Um, it will probably be one of the biggest games also this weekend for Scotland so as you say we need, to be, we need to be ready for it and I'm sure the boys will be. It's, it's a match where we kind of have to look at it as a, a, another game, another three points to pick up and, and probably take away the derby aspect of it and just, just focus on the, the 90 minutes on the park. Yeah, that's all we look at. As you say, I've said it before, um, this season, every game of football will have its different scenarios during it. Um, I know this will be a bigger one for obviously both sets of fans. Obviously, both. Um, I'll be wanting the bragging rights at the end of the day, but as a team here, we need to just make sure we go do what we've done this season. Um, Every game is just about getting that three points. It's just another, st it's just another game. Um, we need to go in focused, and hopefully, as I say, at the end of the day, it will be three points. From yourself personally, having came in, played every game and, and every minute, and formed a really good partnership initially with Rhys Breen and now with Sam Fisher, or together with both of them in a back three, you must be delighted with the way that those partnerships and, and tactical changes are able to to form during games, and and, and the rhythm doesn't really stop. Yeah, um, whoever's played this season, um, no matter who, who it's been, um, we've, we've seemed to gel together. Um, that's not just obviously the defensive part, it's like all through the team, I think there's a... You can see it out there, the team spirit and the boys don't know when to give up. Um, whatever happens in the game, they're giving 100% um, for the club every week and that will change no differently. Obviously Sam's had to bide his time when he first came in um, as you see what he's been playing the last few weeks and he's shown up really well. Um, obviously Brini's obviously got a, a wee knock from the weekend before so um, we'll see how he gets on but he seems to be doing fine. Um, but as you say, I'll be out there on a Saturday, I'll be giving it all. Uh, that's what I can guarantee um, the fans, that's what everybody will be giving 100%. Um, but I'm happy just to play my part and as you say, let's see what happens. You really thrived on that atmosphere out at KDM Group East End Park in the first uh, game against Falkirk this season. Going away from home, there'll be a big away support, and you'll thrive off that noise and, and atmosphere once again. Yeah, looking really forward to it. Um, as you say, it's probably throughout the season, it'll probably be one of the games where um, I'll be in a sell, I suppose, from both sets of fans, and it'll be an exciting one for them. Um, but as players as well, we're excited just as much. It'll be a, a great game to play in. Um, so we're all really looking forward to it.